And that can be shtick. Yeah, my yeah. shtick. Yeah. And uh, I'll talk a little bit about Trump. Not too much, sure. but a little bit about yeah, Trump. Sure. Well, so, a little bit. It is funny. a little bit. A little bit. Yeah. yeah. Um, so um, in the last few months, a few things have happened, to say the least. A few. A few. <laughs> so he's banned uh, transgenders in the military. Mm -hmm. There was a, 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 a case that came out quite recently where um, a cake shop refused uh, right. uh, to make a cake for a gay couple mm -hmm. and that was upheld in, in, a, in a court of law in the US and I think the final thing was um, he put someone in position called Sam Brockback who is a focal opponent of gay rights to be the nation's ambassador at large for international religious freedom I wanted to look at my notes mm -hmm. that's quite a mouthful you. so I'm just kind of wondering what's it like for you now being in the US with a Trump presidency well, first of all, he's an idiot. I oh, mean, yeah. Let's just be honest. I mean, and what's what's scary about it, and, uh, you know, I've talked about this before, is that, you know, I mean, I lived in, in New York and I lived in Los Angeles and, and even New Orleans was not as insane as middle America. And that was the thing. I think you're kind of in a bubble when you live in New York and when you live in Los Angeles and you think, oh, well, there's gay people that are happy and there's gay people that are successful. But you don't think about those middle America people that voted that came out and basically supported him. And shockingly, also, I think it was 47% of Americans didn't even vote, which is even scarier. So you got that going on, and and the fact that he's elected is kind of insane to me. Um, I I just don't. I mean, not because I personally don't like him. I just I think he's an idiot. You know, I think there's no qualifications for this person to be in office, and as he can't even finish a sentence without fumbling of what he's saying. Yeah. Um, constantly putting his foot in his mouth, and I just don't believe or trust in him. So it's kind of wild, but then also this is from the same country where Kim Kardashian can be famous. So it's like any asshole on a reality show, myself included, yeah. have the opportunity to create something from it. But it is it does say a lot about America. I mean, do I personally feel it's a problem for me in general? No, but I think what I am excited about is just seeing my friends on Facebook talk about this. And now politics is a hot button. And, you know, people didn't discuss this two or three years ago. So hopefully there will be change. And hopefully by Trump being such a hot mess, it might shake up the system, you know, because yeah. we do need that. Yeah. And if yeah. Trump was here now, what would you say to him? What oh, would you? Oh, I tell him to try and grab my pussy. See what happens. <laughs> Wouldn't that be great? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's just, it's 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 embarrassing as an American just to real to, to, when you see him and when you hear him and when you realize he has no idea what he's talking about. Absolutely no idea, and it's it's sad. I mean, it's not that I personally don't like him. I just think that he's you know an idiot. Yeah. Do you, do you think he'll see through his four year term? Um. I'm hoping kidney failure. You know, that would be a great thing. I mean, not even a heart attack, because you can recover from a heart attack. Assassination? Yeah, that was... well, that, no, then he'd be a martyr. Mm -hmm. uh, and I usually don't wish death on people, but I just don't find him to be a good human being. But yeah. uh, in fairness, I think I would be shocked if he finishes the first four years. I really would, because I, eventually that stress level has got to go. I mean, I don't know how he's putting up with it. Yeah. I mean, it's constantly, everything, every day is something new. It's, it's insane. It is insane. Over in America, they have an awful guy. His name is Donald Trump, and his weight goes really high. But if he gets elected, I'll be filled with sorrow. I can only hope that hair today gone tomorrow. 